So, last year, Final Fantasy VII Remake came out, and it started an addiction that I didn't think would happen. Hey yo guys, my name's Percival, and welcome to the virtual world! So, I kind of fell in love with Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I hadn't really played a Final Fantasy game before that. The only thing I'd really played was Final Fantasy XV. Yeah, I found Final Fantasy XV good, but Final Fantasy VII was the one to shove me into the rabbit hole. Yeah, see, I had heard of Final Fantasy VII before, and to be fair, honestly, I just thought it was sort of just some like overrated game people just went on about because you know how popular it was. But like, I just wanted to not like it because of how popular it was. To be honest, it's also since I had the only game I had played was Final Fantasy XV. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, but I didn't actually know like the history behind Final Fantasy and like how like it holds a place in many people's hearts. It looked old to me and like. I don't know, I just, I just didn't think the game looked that good, and so when I heard it was getting a remake, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out, see if I like it, and then we'll go from there. Spoiler alert, I really, I loved it. <laughs> I don't know if it was because I had to like stay inside because of the lockdown, or if it was because the game was that good, but like, every time I look back on it now, from like last year, I get this feeling of massive nostalgia, and it just feels so good. It gives me the same feeling of nostalgia I get from like, w like thinking back to when I used to play with my friends that I don't play with like as as much anymore. But seriously, I have some really good memories from playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I don't know, I just kind of fell in love with the characters, and like I, f I find that they're all amazing. We've got Cloud, the lovable dickhead, Barrett, the lovable terrorist, then we've got Aerith, the lovable angel, which I will protect at all costs. It's, it's, it's a feeling I haven't gotten in a while since playing that game, and it's that feeling of like, yo, I need to finish this game, I need to play it for like 12 hours straight, let's go! And that's what I did! And I'm purposely staying away from the original, because like, I want to know what happens within the remake, not the original. I don't know, the, the, the original isn't from my time, and I'd rather like, experience my time's version of the story, than experience the originals, if you get what I mean. But yeah, I'm insanely glad I played Final Fantasy VII Remake, because it's like, opened the door to an entirely new franchise to me, and I love it. If you guys don't know, I've been playing Final Fantasy VIII on stream, and I've been playing Final Fantasy XIII on my, like, my personal time. I've also got Final Fantasy X to play as well, which I need to get around to. I'm also trying, I'm also going to be replaying Final Fantasy XV. Plus, if you guys don't know, I'm kind of addicted to Final Fantasy XIV. But, we'll leave that for another video. But yeah, it's safe to say Final Fantasy has become my favorite game franchise and some of it's taken over my life. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did it would be much appreciated if you subscribed and liked. Anyway I'm gonna log off now guys so I'll see you guys in the next video.